in many ways, the First Amendment does make it a, a moot conversation. But, you know, I, I think that it, it's really kind of disingenuous to suggest that uh, talking about Islamophobia is matters of difference and differing opinions as if Islamophobia is a viewpoint that deserves time. It doesn't. It um, is something that we have to combat. And the challenge with freedom of speech is that people think it means freedom from consequence. And what we're really talking about is how do we implement consequences for people who use speech to radicalize hate. And we have to start doing that in material ways because oftentimes what we do is rely on that slippery slope argument. And I'm a writer, so the freedom of speech is sacrosanct to me. And what I consider Does that my right freedom to offend uh, yes. people of whatever race Absolutely. or whatever religion. You can religion, do whatever you want with your freedom creed? of speech. Yeah. But I, I mean, I just, I do judge you when you use your freedom of speech for stupidity and for hatred. I just think you have nothing better to do with your time. Um, and so I, I so do is think... It, do you think it's a mark of more or less civilization that racist comments can be made under the protection of the Constitution? I, I think both. I think it's oh, well and good that we protect this kind of speech, but I also think it's horrifying because so many things are excused in the name of the freedom of speech, and so many people are materially harmed in the name of the freedom of speech. And so we have to find ways to create material consequences for people. We have to say, sure, say whatever you want, but know that you're going to suffer these kinds of things. And deplatforming, I think, is one key way of doing that, removing these people from social networks, keeping Milo Yiannopoulos not only out of Australia, but frankly, every country. Uh, send him to space <laughs> and see what happens.